I have decided to fight Islam. Please pay attention to my statement. To fight Islam, not the political Islam, not the militant Islam, not the radical Islam, not the Wahhabi Islam, but Islam itself. I truly believe that the West has invented these terms for the sake of being politically correct. <laughs> Growing up in Syria, I have never heard but Islam. Islam has never been misunderstood. Islam is the problem, but no one is stating the truth. No one is taking a hard look at the root of the terrorism, which is the brainwashing machine called Islam. Islam is not up to me, is not up to any Muslim man or woman. Islam is exactly what the Prophet Muhammad did and said. In order to understand Islam, you have to read the biography of Muhammad. It is very traumatizing. It is very shocking. He married his six, uh, second wife when she was six years old. He was over 50. I just came back from France. I debated with a Muslim Pakistani woman. She was the minister of women in Pakistan. When I told this fact to my audience, she turned to me and she said, it is a big lie. She was nine, not six. <laughs> it sounds like when a policeman stop you because you're driving over 100 miles per hour and you turn to him and say, it is a big lie. I was driving 90 miles per hour, not 100 miles. She was nine, not six. He married his second wife. She was her, his daughter-in-law. His son was adopted, and it, at that time it wasn't accepted by the pre-Islamic Arabic culture. So he turned to his followers and he said, I was told by God that adoption is forbidden. And adoption, believe it or not, has been forbidden in the Islamic culture. Just to justify his marriage of his daughter-in-law. His third wife was Sophia. Sophia. She was a Jewish woman. It was well documented, well written in our school book that he attacked her tribe. He killed her father, her brother, and her husband. At the same day he slept with her. That's what I call Islam. You need to know, you need to understand that Islam is the problem. I am sick and tired of people here in the West asking me to soften my message. I am sick and tired of people asking me, are you trying to change 1.3 billion people? Yes, I am trying. Yes, I am. It is, it is, It is not a matter of, I am trying, I will change him. I want you, I want you to know that the very first value I learned when I came to this great country, that you can do the impossible if you truly believe in yourself. I not only believe in myself, I believe in many million Muslim women like Noni Darwish and Ayan Ali. And we are working hand in hand to change 1.3 billion Muslims. They have to realize that they have only two choices, to change or to be crushed. Please, please don't let your civilized way of thinking interfere with your defending your great country. Please, please defend your values. Please de defend your freedoms. Defend the heaven you are living in. 
Don't take anything for granted. I don't. I enjoy every single moment of my American life. Just walking down the street by myself without being accused of being a whore is a bless for me. Just chatting with my next door male neighbor without being accused of committing adultery is a bless for me. Having a cup of coffee at Starbucks by myself is a bless. Please, please don't take anything for granted. Please defend this beautiful country. My dream is to see my country, Syria, as free as America, not the other way around. When I was in Syria, I cried a lot. Now that I am free, I still cry and much harder for those women whom I left behind. My dream of one day, having all of them free, should be the dream of all humanity. Thank you so much.